Hello everybody, I'm Tommy DeLago with Nitro, I'm here with Florian Lang uh, and we want to talk to you about split boarding, split boarding equipment um, and everything connected with it. Uh, with Nitro we have a pretty long history of split boarding. We started out almost 20 years ago with our first attempt of building split boards. We were really fascinated with the idea of being able to climb up and basically hike your own mountains and find your own runs. It was a time when snowboarding was still partially banned in certain areas, so being more mobile was a very intriguing idea. Um, ultimately, we presented the first split board in 1993, and uh, we basically had split boards more or less ever since. So it was a long time, and um, today we arrived at a situation where we have a very big offering. We have a lot of split boards that we want to show you and explain a little bit who they are for. But we also have boots, we have splitboard bindings, accessories, all the way to custom fitted splitboard skins. We offer custom fitted skins for all the boards in the line. There's two different levels of skins, a standard skin called peak line and a more high end line called the vertical skins. They're custom fitted as I mentioned and they have a mounting system with a hook in the front and a tail clip. The boards are pre-drilled, so you can set them up in seconds. Like I said earlier, we have a very big line, but you'll find there is a very clear idea of who is the ideal rider for each board. Snowboarding is a pretty expensive activity. There's a lot of special equipment that goes in. You need special bindings. You know, ideally, you have at least somewhat special boots. Uh, you need other equipment. So all in all, you have to spend a lot of money. So we try to make an effort to offer boards that are affordable if you want to try it out and try to get into it. So there's two models we make, a woman's and a men's model, uh, the Volta and the Nomad, which are basically at a price entry level, which are designed to be ridden basically all over the mountain, in the resort, like there's a lot of people who do like after work, you know, quick after work hikes. You can ride them on the slope, on the groomers, in the powder. They're pretty much all around boards that can be used in a variety of conditions. Next up is a new addition in our line, the Team Split. The Team is one of our most successful boards, the most versatile board in the entire line that we make. Um, so there's also a, a split board version of the Team. It's another board that you can ride all over the mountain, even in the park. And if you want to and you have the equipment with you in the backpack, mount it up and just do that quick hike over to that next cool couloir and ride that. Um, and the fourth board over here in the line is the squash. The squash is a board that has a, a pretty clear concept of being written A as a carving board and B as a board that works really well in the powder uh, off the slopes. Uh, it has a really drawn, drawn out nose, has a little bit of a swallow tail. So it's, it's well rounded. It's not that versatility of a board as you have in a team. You don't ride the park with it but it does a lot of different things on the mountain. It's made to go down, it's very directional. So carving on a hard pack and in the powder. Um, as a split board, it does the same thing. It takes you to a little bit more of a difficult terrain because it holds an edge if you wanted to, but it also is super enjoyable when you get that nice powder stash. This is the slash, it's part of the quiver line and developed with riders like Brian Fox. This is my favorite board because it's super floaty and surfy, has a wider nose, it really floats up nicely, it does well in tight tree runs, very, very fun board. To make this board even more surfy, we feature a um, spoon nose in the front uh, going over into a concave tail. This makes the board even more maneuverable and still holds an edge when you get on the groomers. Very, very fun board. Um, next up is the doppelganger. The doppelganger is also available in a mini ganger version. So if you got kids and you finally want to go on a hike together with your kids, that's a great setup for both generations in your family. This is our most technical directional split board in the line. It has a carbon construction to put a focus on the weight. Every gram counts on the way up. It has a core, right, uh, core construction again to reduce the weight of the board. High-end base, this is a very, very technical 
all mountain splitboard for the serious guy out there going on great tours in the Alps. This is the vertical splitboard and with a weight far below three kilograms, this is our most advanced splitboard in the line. This is meant to be for the high alpine splitboarder, for maybe the, the more competitive guy. If you are hiking with some really tough guys and you have to keep up, this is your board. What else this board has to feature is a skinny waist width, side cut that's not too deep to make traversing easier. In addition, we feature hiking pots. If you are traversing in sketchy terrain, the hiking pots just generate a lot of grip and make it easier and you can traverse with more confidence. The core features uh, choroid material. Again, we are shaving off every gram there is um, in combination with a carbon fiber layup, tip to toe. Again, we are able to reduce the weight. In an effort to shave off every gram possible, we minimize the thickness of the top sheet and pick the material that's ultra durable. On the base side, same thing, the base material is thinner than your standard base, again, to shave off some grams. We're featuring a super thin edge because in the end it matters. There's a lot of edge built into this board, so every gram counts again. All split boards in our line feature custom nitro clips and our forged aluminum hooks to give the board a really secure connection and make the two halves become one. This is the vertical binding, a collaboration between Nitro and Spark. We teamed up with Spark because they are the industry leading uh, split board binding company. We took their chassis and added our components like our straps, our buckles, cable reinforced ratchets for the added durability in the back country a padding on the base plate and a forward lean adjustable high back. You can choose between your standard forward lean settings and a hiking position where you fold the high back out of the way. Nitro is a brand that's known for really good boots, really good fit. And of course, we feel it's also important for spitboarding that you have a boot that works really well in varied conditions. Um, we're offering three models, one woman's, two uh, men, actually one is also considered a unisex model. Um, starting out with the Ronda, which is a new addition to the line. This boot is a hybrid boot uh, that's designed to be ridden on the snow in the slopes or in the pow. And of course, it has features that make spitboarding easier. So for climbing, for hiking, you have a flexible shaft that opens up when you're hiking up. So you can hike upright. You don't always have, you have a forward lean when you hike, which is very tiring on your legs. Uh, it has a reinforced area that protects the boot against abrasion from a metal binding or crampons. Other than that, it has a standard soft sole, standard construction. So it really is an enhanced snowboard boot with additional features for splitboarding. Um, there's a men's version of the same boot called the Skylab has the same features, um, super universal. This is actually the boot I'm riding. I'm riding it for all mountain riding and for splitboarding. My son rides it in the park. And uh, that already, for me, tells me it's very, very universal and can be used in all kinds of conditions. Same features, has a flexible cuff for hiking, has protection around the sides and the toe, especially against the splitboard bindings and crampons. And last but not least, our very specific splitboarding boot, the Incline. Uh, this is a unisex boot model, and it is really equipped with all features that you're looking for when you're more serious about splitboarding. It has a rigid sole. It can be used with semi-rigid crampons. So it has a, a heel clip in the back or a heel lip in the back, and you can use it with a crampon. Uh, the sole is stiff. It has a hiking mechanism, like a hike and ride mechanism, so it opens up similar to what I just showed you on the Skylab, but it has a reinforcement on the heel. So it does that, but it's more, more adjustable. You can exchange the PowerShell tongue so you can make it softer or stiffer depending on your personal preference. So this is the ultimate spitboarding boot. If you're more serious about spitboarding, it's called the Incline. This is Nitro's Split Pack 30, a backpack specifically designed for the splitboarder, for the use of splitboarding. It features um, 
any type of board attachment from a solid board in the front to split halves on the side. It has a helmet mesh carry on the front that can be expanded from down here and attached on the upper loops. So on the hike up, you might not want to wear your helmet. So you have a way of securely attaching it to your backpack. There's also a loop for your ice axe if you are on a more serious hike. Um, there is a rear entry on the back panel. So a quick access to all your important gear like your avalanche shovel, your probe, all these kind of items. You just throw you back in the snow and you have quick access to all your essentials. There's a roll top closure. So you're very, very variable on the volume of this bag. It can be adjusted from 22, 23, all the way up to 30 liters. This is the Split Pack 30 and it comes in three different colors. Nitro offers two different poles for split boarding specific. There's a five piece collapsible pole and a three piece telescoping pole in a carbon fiber construction where the two upper pieces are carbon fiber and the lower piece is aluminum for durability. All these poles are quick adjustable in their size and length, are adjustable up to a size of 135 centimeters and come with an EVA extended handle for different positions on the hike up. Okay guys, um, I think you saw a lot of stuff from us. You saw a lot of splitboard equipment. Uh, we are proud to be in this business since a long time and uh, I think it's safe to say that we have a lot of different products that interact very closely. Uh, boards, boots, bindings, accessories, everything is designed to work together. So take a look at the videos down below. Um, there is a lot more detailed information on every single product that we just essentially touched on. And um, get out there, go to a split fest, go to a festival, try it out for yourself. I think that's always the key thing before you buy splitboard equipment. Try it out and get knowledgeable about what's going on outdoors um, and have fun out there in the winter. Thanks for watching.